Hi everyone, so today I wanna show you how we set up our looms. This cardboard piece right here is your loom, and a loom is something that you weave on. So this is what we're weaving on for this project. You will see it says front, has a line, says back, has two lines. It also has one dot and a second dot. Keep in mind, these are very important. First thing we wanna do on the front is we need to get our names on the loom. So taking your tape, you're gonna peel off a small piece, about five inches, six inches, rip it off this size. On the top of the front, put your tape. Then using Sharpie, you're gonna write your name. Notice how I'm writing right on the tape. Now we will know whose weaving is whose. To set up our first set of strings on the loop, we would need to use the dots on the back. Notice how it says one, and two. I have already measured my string already, so you will be doing this while you're setting up your loom. These, these are called the warps, and the warps are the strings that go up and down that you weave into. So you will not really see these strings just on the end tassels, so keep that in mind when you pick your color. I'm gonna use white. First thing we wanna do is take the end of our string, Put it on dot one facing up. So notice how it's facing up. I have the string going up. Then you're gonna take another small piece of tape, about one inch, and you're gonna tape your string to dot one. Just like that. Now we are wrapping our loom. So I'm gonna turn my loom to the side so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Let me zoom out a little. There we go. Okay, so my string is still facing up. You will see that there are notches on the top, notches on the bottom. I am gonna go through this first notch all the way down the front side, go through notch one on the bottom. Then back up to the top, going to notch two, wrapping around going to the next notch every single time. And keep going until your entire loom is filled up. There you go. And you can see how I'm holding my strings pretty tight as I go. When you are done, you are cutting and taping your string to dot number two. So I'm gonna cut small one inch piece of tape. Kind of pulling pretty tight and taping to dot two. You will see that the strings on the back are kind of tilted, that's what we want but the strings on the front are completely parallel. This is what we want. We are going to be weaving on the front side. You're going to forget about the back. Okay, so I want to show you the wefts now. The way you designed your piece, you are going to have to cut your strings from the string box. I'm starting with this coral color. To get your strings started, what we want to do is we want to do under, over, under, over. So if I am over here, I'm gonna go under the next one, over the next one, under, over, under, over. What I like to do too, is I like to pick up every other string so I know which one I am going under. This helps me weave a little bit faster. Next, what we wanna do is pull the string so that the end, other end of the string is over here just dangling off. Then we push it down. Next, we went this way to start. Now we're gonna go back this way. Since my coral is over my white right here, I'm over, I need to start under when I go back. So I'm going under that first string, picking up every other string, under, over. I'm to the end. I have this big loop and extra string. I am pulling tight like this. Common error, if you pull too tight, 
your um, warps are gonna start to bow in like this. We don't want that, so keep it loose. And then I'm shimming it down. Another common mistake too is doing the same thing that you did before, so I'll show you here. Here is our accident. If we're under here and then we start again under, when you pull your string, it's just gonna pull right through and I'll show you what that looks like. So when I'm pulling tight, if I pull and I have it set up on the wrong string, look what happens. It just pulls right out. So you wanna make sure you're doing the opposite. Eventually, too, you're going to run out of string. So I see that this one, if I lay it out, will make one pass back. This is when we want to attach our new string to our old string. So I'm doing coral, but then I'm switching to purple. We want to double knot these together. So to double knot, you make an X. So you have an X here. We take one of the strings, put it between the legs of the X, and then back up like he's raising his hand. So you have another X. Then we're doing the same thing with those top strings. Making another X. You'll see I have my little donut hole in here. Take one of those strings, go through the donut hole, back up so he's raising his hand, and pull everything tight. You can also trim the short ends of those strings just so they're not showing up in your loom. And then I'm just gonna continue weaving with those colors. my weaving in my loom is at a pretty good spot you are going to stop when you reach this front line here make sure that your loom is not bowing in like this and there are no mistakes you'll see I've got a couple dangly strings if you want to just trim those before you take your loom or your weaving off your loom you can just to tighten it up and make it look a little bit neater and just like that She's finished. Next, I wanna show you how to take your weaving off of your loom. So what you're going to do is you're going to flip over to the back. And I know this sounds kind of scary, but we are going to take scissors and we're gonna cut right across the middle. So between these two lines. I just like to take my scissors and cut. You can also peel off any tape. Then very carefully, you're gonna flip over to the front side. It looks kind of crazy, but working two strings at a time, what you're gonna do is double knot. So starting here, I'm taking my first two strings, making my X, putting that arm through the X, pulling it down to secure all of these wefts that we wove into. We wanna do a second knot it tight taking the next two strings make that X string goes under the X another X through the circle you're gonna do this all the way across when you get to the end you have three strings so Take two strings in one hand, one string in the other hand, same thing, double knot. 
just like that. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. Perfect. What those knots do is it holds your weaving in place so it's not going anywhere. Last thing you're going to do is trim your tassels to the length that you want them. Now keep in mind this is going to be sitting underneath your mug. So if you want them long, you can have them long. If you want them short, you can have them short. It's really up to you. I'm also going through and trimming any extra strings that may be hanging out and really making this look like a finished um, rug. Perfect, and there's my finished piece.